All right, so I'm going to show you how to do quiz 14. So I'm just going to give you the first one here, which is question one. So here, unlike on quiz 13, where the proof is already completed, what we're going to do, and we all, well, all we had to do was fill in the rules of a completed proof. Um, here, what we're going to do is actually uh, complete the proof ourselves. So. Here are my first two premises, one and two, and here's my conclusion written to the right of the last premise. So the conclusion is if L then R, so I know that's what I'm trying to get. Um, <clears throat> this is actually a, quite an easy proof. Uh, if you know your rules, then you can see there's just one rule that takes me directly to the conclusion. And that rule um, well, I'm going to write the conclusion in here first. I'm going to help myself to copying, pasting my logical operator. So if L then R, that's the conclusion we want to derive. And that, in fact, um, follows from just one rule. And that rule is hypothetical syllogism on lines 1 and 2, the only lines of the proof. Uh, so that's just uh, a one extra line that uh, we added to the proof to complete it. And so that's how you'll do it. Some of the proofs will contain, uh, will involve multiple lines. This one only contained one extra line. Um, so obviously uh, this was a pretty easy one. But that in general is how you're going to do each of the questions on quiz 14.